All right, guys, inside the play here again. Going to look at Blake Sims' touchdown pass to Kenyon Drake to start the Florida game. Uh, this play is very similar to the one that Brody Krull threw to Tyrone Pro throw in the 2005 Florida game. All right, same situation, first drive of the game. Florida had the ball first. We're pinned back inside our own 15-yard line. All right, here's what happens. We come out in an empty set. That means you've got two receivers here, three receivers here, no backs in the backfield. The backfield is empty, so it's an empty set. Florida counters with four down, okay, and they're in man-to-man -man coverage. He's manned up here. Your nickel back's manned up on your slot. You've got this nickel manned up here. And right here is your corner manned up on the slot receiver. And the reason for that is that right here, this is a running back. And this here is a linebacker trying to cover the running back. Now, this is the play that's been set up for several years. Saban's offense, since he's been at Alabama, has often utilized splitting a running back wide in doing that, if a team's in zone coverage, then your corner will stay with the widest man. So you take a guy, you know, Vernon Hargraves is down here, but let's say he was up here up top, then you could have Hargraves being pulled away by a running back, okay? And a lot of times our running back has been Trent Richardson or Mark Ingram or Eddie Lacy, people who are not a real threat as an outside go-getter, you know? So how teams counter that is they take a middle linebacker who is normally to be manned up on the running back and split him wide and let the corner stay inside on the much more dangerous slot receiver. Well, must champs play in the book definition of that guy's a running back. But must champ needs to realize this guy right here isn't a typical running back. This guy right here is Kenyon Drake, and he is every bit as a receiver, a slot receiver body as he is a running back body, okay? And Muschamp, for all his prowess as a defensive coordinator, gets two by the book a lot of times. You know, this game, we absolutely lit his defense up. You know, my last video, there's a lot of complaints. People on the uh, Auburn side were trying to come in and say I was talking about a guy that graduated from Alabama and a guy who's already been fired as Auburn's defensive coordinator. Well, here's the guy you hired. And here's what he did against the guy who's going to be back this year. So Blake comes to the line, checks off, and tells where the middle linebacker is. He knows right now they're playing man-free, man-to-man, man-to-man. This guy's moving over here, man-to-man, man-to-man, man-to-man. you got a free safety in the middle of the field. Blake looks right now. That safety is probably sitting closer to this hash because you've got your third receiver coming over here. It's all over but the crime before the ball's even snapped. That guy's given this huge cushion. Look, he's given seven yards off the line of scrimmage, nine yards total. And take the snap. One, two, three. Bombs away. The guy never had a chance. Throw it to the outside shoulder. That safety can't get there. And it's all over. You know, that's just, I mean, that's just coaching. That's Lane Kiffin saying, you know what? He's going to play their outside linebacker on our running back every time, no matter who our running back is, whether it's Derrick Henry, who's not a threat to do this, or if it's Kenyon Drake, who obviously is. So he said, all right, we're going to first play. We're going to put him out there. Now, the play would have probably went somewhere else should we have had uh, – they'd have been in zone defense. But right there before the ball was snapped, it was a touchdown – all that had to happen is Kenyon didn't need to drop it. And you'll see when we get to the replay here in just a second, I mean, this is just as simple as it can get. Muschamp just gets out coached by Kiffin. Line up, and that guy's standing over him right here. Right there, look at where this free safety is. See how he's closer to this hash? That t tells right now. It tells Kenyon, stay outside the numbers, and it's a touchdown. All right, one, two, three, Cut inside, cut outside. That guy, that guy didn't have a chance. Kenyon could have ran right by him if he wanted to. He just made sure he turned his hips a little bit to get that guy turned around. I mean, I might have, might as well have been me out there trying to cover him because I was about as close to him as that guy was. So as easy as it can be, that's the last of our pre-requested clips for the Inside the Play series. 
If you guys have any requests, make sure you put it in the comments. I'm going to try to get to some more coming up here soon. Thanks, guys.